Welcome to the second clip for the day. Hope you're enjoying whatever time you spent in between this one and the last one. But let's go ahead and talk about Ryzen 3000 because there is some more leaks coming out. The site Billy Billy dropping some hot knowledge regarding the upcoming expected Ryzen chips. And I know that we're all waiting for them to have 16 cores, 32 threads, run at five gigahertz. Well, the latest leak is a little less ambitious than that, which even if this one is true or even less than true and still a little, it, but as long as it's close, then it's fine, right? So let's just talk about what that leak is. So first up, it's that the Ryzen 3000 series will have a 15% better IPC. So that means clock for clock, if Ryzen 2000's at three gigahertz, then Ryzen 3000 will be 15% faster at three gigahertz, regardless of clock speed improvements. Apparently we're looking to get 4.5 gigahertz on these things, which isn't quite five gigahertz, kind of sad. Um, but considering 15% is a much bigger increase than from Zen to Zen Plus, which was only 3%, a 15% IPC difference, and then like a two to 3% core clock bump means that we're actually getting much better performance year on year out of the Ryzen 3000 chips. Obviously, we're still waiting on five gigahertz, and maybe this is just the engineering samples that went through their hands, and it's not quite where we're gonna expect Ryzen 3000 to end up on its Zen 2 architecture, but this is a good indication. 15% nothing to sneeze at even if it's 10 percent, that's actually really good as long as they keep everything at the same price so i'm not i'm not necessarily upset with this leak even if it's less than what we've been expecting thanks to the adore tv leak but then there's also a lot of implementations in the zen 2 architecture that we're expecting to come with the new gen cpu such as improved execution pipeline double core density half the energy per operation improved branch prediction better instruction prefetching large your operational catch, increased dispatch, and maintaining higher throughput for all models. So that's all really good information and not just a difference in how much it can process, but there's actually some architectural design stuff going on as well. And then on top of that, there is some more information coming out about the motherboard setup for the new generation of motherboards. So X570 is supposed to launch with the Ryzen 3000 CPUs. That's supposed to have 40 PCI Express lanes on the motherboard itself, all of which should be PCI Express Generation 4.0. So PCI Express 4.0 is what we're expecting. But then the B550, which is their mid-tier board, won't have it at all. So that's just gonna be still based on PCI Express 3.0. And then there's also the rumor that, that came out from them that A320 won't support any Ryzen 3000 chips whatsoever. So it doesn't quite break the promise that AMD was gonna keep all of their chips on AM4 up until 2020, because they're still going to have it on B350 and X370 boards, but it does kind of leave a few people out who might have bought A320 boards in the hopes that they'd be able to run Ryzen 3 chips forever. It's a possibility. I don't know many people who would want to do that, but at least motherboard manufacturers are expecting 12 to 16 core chips on this setup. So it would make sense that A320s, which usually didn't have the best VRM setup, best power delivery, that they couldn't handle all of these chips. And especially if the Ryzen 3 is supposed to be eight core, 16 threads, and A320 wasn't built for that necessarily, even if it is more power efficient on the seven nanometer architecture, I can kind of understand why this would happen. But obviously, this is just the latest rumor in the rounds of rumors. Still don't have any official information, but it looks like some of the things are being confirmed. There's more leaks happening that are more consistent with one another, and they're coming more frequently, which is usually an indication that it things are about to happen. So obviously we're waiting till Computex, the keynote being given on May 27th by Lisa Su, and that's when we're expecting to get the full unveiling of Ryzen 3000, as well as seeing X570 motherboards at, at Computex, uh, because Biostar and ASRock have leaked their versions saying that the next generation is coming. So if motherboards are at Computex, we're also expecting that uh, CPUs will be there as well. So that's gonna be the end of this one. Ryzen 3000 coming in hot and heavy, better performance, and then also some setup with the motherboards that's gonna change a few things about what people were expecting, but PCI Express 4.0 coming out soon, hopefully 40 lanes. It's gonna be delicious. Anyways, that's the end of this hot news clip. Well, let me know what you think of this leak down below in the comments. Excited, disappointed, want more, want less. Keen to hear from you down below. Also hit the like button if you enjoyed this hot take. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our hot news. And I'll see your smiling faces again in the next one. Love you too.